Hi, I'm Carl from Amwave. We are building a custom water-cooled workstation. The part we'll be using today is from Plumaltec Pacific Series, the Pacific CL480, which we have a two radiator, a Pacific PR22D5, our reservoir and pump camber, a Pacific C Pro six pack, our fittings, and the Pacific W5, our water mark. So what we have here is Thermaltake Pacific W5 CPU water block. This one supports AM4, AM3, 2011, 2066, that's like what we have here, and 11.5x. So now we're installing the CPU water block, the Pacific W5 from Thermaltake. So we have uh, an inlet here, goes the water inside here, pushes inside towards, splits, splits it on the fins inside, and then comes back out here. So it comes with a water block, it's a thermal paste tube from Thermaltake as well. So installing this or applying a thermal paste on this CPU is a bit like a little bit more compared to a consumer type CPU. So you might want to have an ample amount. That. Yep. So now we have the Thermaltake Pacific CL480. This is a radiator that we're going to use to cool the system, the loop in the system. All right, in terms of size, this is a quad 120mm uh, radiator, so that means it supports four fan. It's up to you if you want to put on one side or if you want to put like a push-pull configuration. The thickness of this is 64mm. Bundled with that is a Thermaltake uh, ring creator on a, also 120 millimeter in size as well so we're going to use four of these with two of these on the system one at the top and one at the front so now we have like four of the ring prior from Thermaltake we're going to install four of these on one here 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 and here all right this might take a while so we're going to speed it up for you Now, next component is our Pacific PR22D5. These two are actually the same. So the difference between these two is this one got RGB and this one doesn't. But for this uh, build, we're not going to connect the RGB on this one. So it, like, it looks balanced. So both of these are using the D5 pump. It's a pump and reservoir combo. So all you need to do is uh, plug in a fittings on the, on the bottom and one on the top. So this is what the pump and reservoir combo looks like. So what we have here is the reservoir itself. This is the pump underneath. So it's powered by Molex. And the control for the flow 
is on the bottom. So unfortunately, this one is not a PWM control, so it has to be dialed manually on the bottom. So this one is the output of the reservoir. This is the inlet, and you also have one extra here for when you fill the system. Okay, so next on the component is the Thermaltake fittings. This is the Pacific C Pro 6 pack. This one comes only with a like a box of six. This this component is what we'll be using to connect all the components that's inside the loop. So this one have a threading of G and a quarter. So this will fit onto our water block, water block for the GPU, for the uh, pump and reservoir combo, and for the radiator. Another component that we'll be using is an angled adapter Pacific as well from Thermaltake. This we're going to use for those uh, hard to reach uh, inlet or outlet, especially for like this one. If we want to have an inlet outlet of here, you can use these. And this one has more aggressive uh, angled corner or corner. So instead of using a bend, instead of bending a tube in here, That'll be, if you want to use a bend, that will be further out in the diameter. This is what we're going to use for those type fits. Uh, next component is just like actually optional for the system. Okay, so this is what you call a Pacific TF1 from Tomaltech as well. So what it does is it actually read the temperature and the flow of the system. Just bear in mind the actual temperature reading that you'll see on the on this sensor is actually the liquid on the system and not the CPU. Now, in terms of tubing, we have the uh, Thermaltake Pacific V2 block. So this is a hardline PETG tubing. It has a measurement of 16 millimeter outer diameter, and it on, comes with a pack of a four pack a meter each. And yeah, it's just like this kind of tubing that is cut to size, like any other tubing. That is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the build. For more information about the parts that we've used here today, please see the description below.